हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर हरजीत कुमार पवार फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला नाउ वील बी डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स इन द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज इन विच माई फर्स्ट लेक्चर इज ऑन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड पार्ट वन there are various properties of the fluids mass density weight density specific weight volume specific gravity viscosity surface tension capillarity first of all we will discuss the what is fluid also what is fluid mechanics from the beginners this is very important topics the fluid is a substance which is capable to moving or it is capable to flowing there are various examples of the fluids the fluid is in the liquid types some are in the gaseous types water and petrol are the examples of the liquid type then co2 no2 are the gaseous types then turn to fluid mechanics fluid mechanics is that branch of the science which deals with the behavior of the fluid which is liquid or gases at the rest as well as in motion there are three types of the fluid mechanics uh, in which first is a hydrostatics second one is a hydrodynamic third one is a hydrokinematics hydrostatics it is branch of the hydraulics which deals with the behavior of fluid at rest means in the resting conditions behavior there are main example is the water in the dam second one is a hydrodynamic it is also the branch of hydraulics which deals with the behavior of fluid in motion but where pressure forces are to be considered example pump discharge then next one is a hydrokinematic it is a branch of the hydraulics which deals with the behavior of fluid at motion but where pressure forces are not considered now we will be discuss in today's topics property of fluid also which is called as the physical property of fluid mass density it is also called as the density and also called as the specific mass of the fluid second one is the weight density specific weight or unit weight third one is the specific volume fourth one is the specific gravity or which is also called as the relative density fifth one is the viscosity sixth one is the surface tension and last one is the capillarity now turn to our main topic which is first property mass density mass density is the ratio of mass of the fluid to the volume of the fluid the unit of this mass density in si system which is kg per meter cube and the symbol of this mass density r it is denoted by rho the density of liquids may be considered as constant while that of the gases changes with the variation of pressures and temperatures mathematically the mass density is written as rho is equal to mass of fluid divided by volume of fluid rho is equal to m divided by v where the rho is equal to mass density m is equal to mass of that fluid and v is equal to the volume of the fluid now the mass density of the water is 1000 kg per meter cube also which is 1 gram per centimeter cube next one is a specific weight specific weight is also the ratio of weight of fluid divided by volume of fluid it is denoted by small w 
and the unit of the specific weight is a newton per meter cube now turn to mathematical discussion of this topic w is equal to weight of fluid divided by volume of fluid is equal to capital w divided by capital v now capital w is equal to mass of fluid multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity that's why small w means specific weight is equal to mass of fluid multiplied by z means gravity divided by volume of fluid then in previous property we will be discuss rho is equal to m divided by v means mass of fluid divided by volume of fluid that's why the specific weight w is equal to rho into g where rho is equal to mass density m is equal to mass of fluid and v is equal to the volume of fluid and g is equal to acceleration due to gravity then the specific weight of the water is equal to 9810 newton per meter cube in the si system next one is specific volume specific volume of fluid is defined as the volume of fluid per unit mass of a fluid in general it is denoted by small v it is also the reciprocal to the mass density that's why the unit of this specific volume is meter cube per kg specific volume is equal to volume of fluid divided by mass of fluid therefore specific volume is equal to 1 divided by rho next and main important which is specific gravity this is also called as the relative density specific gravity is defined as the ratio of specific weight or density of the fluid to the specific weight or density of a standard fluid standard fluid for liquid which is water and for the gases it is air the symbol of specific gravity is equal to capital s specific gravity is also called as the relative density this term is the dimensionless term now mathematically the specific gravity for liquid is equal to specific weight or the density of that liquid divided by specific weight or the density of the water means standard liquid then specific gravity for gases which is equal to specific weight or the density of gas divided by specific weight or the density of air specific gravity of pure water at the standard temperature 4 degree it will be 1 and for the mercury it will be 13.6 now turn to next property which is viscosity viscosity of liquid is a measure of <coughs> sorry resistance to flow of one layer of liquid over another adjacent layer according to the newton's law of viscosity the shear stress on the liquid is directly proportional to the rate of strain or which is also called as the velocity gradient therefore shear stress is directly proportional to rate of strain the symbol of viscosity is equal to tau tau is directly proportional to dv by dy which is the velocity gradient tau is equal to mu dv by dy where mu is equal to coefficient of viscosity or it is also called as the dynamic viscosity dv by dy is equal to rate of strain or the velocity gradient next property of the fluid which is surface tension the property of liquid which enables it to resist tensile stresses is called as the surface tension 
this surface tension is due to the cohesion between the molecules at the surface of liquid it is denoted by sigma and the unit of this surface tension is newton per meter last property which is capillarity if a thin tube is dipped in a liquid then the liquid will rise or fall in the tube this phenomenon is known as capillarity it is also due to cohesion and adhesion capillarize or capillary depression is given by the formula h is equal to 4 sigma cos alpha divided by wd where w is equal to specific weight and d is equal to diameter of this capillary tube alpha is equal to the angle then for clean glass and water the alpha means angle which is equal to 0 degree that's why the cos 0 is equal to 1 therefore the value capillary value h is equal to 4 sigma divided by wd in today's lecture we will be discuss the various property in next lecture we will be discuss the viscosity surface tension capillarity this three property in brief thank you